Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome to 20 Top Tips for Beginner Satisfactory Players. And at the end of this episode, there will be a special bonus tip I know you're going to want to stick around for. If you haven't grabbed Satisfactory yet, then the link in the description below will take you to the website to do so. Let's get cracking. My first tip is that when you're facing the fluffy tailed hogs, you can in fact jump over them and often get in a bit of a whack with your zapper on the way down. I'm not necessarily very good at it in this video, but you get the general idea. Jumping is a great way to avoid their attacks. Tip two, as you travel around the world, you're gonna be picking up lots of grass. And at the same time, there's gonna be wood on the ground and sometimes in some start areas, lots of wood just hanging around. Pick up all of it. You can't use the wood straight away to make biomass for your generators, but you will eventually. So get everything you can and shove it in storage until you need it. Tip number three, as you explore the world, you're gonna find different colored slugs, which you'll be able to research in the MAM at your hub. You wanna collect all of these that you can, even if it means building up using foundations and finding all the little secret hidey holes. Power slugs are a way that you can overclock your machinery, which is a very, very helpful thing to do in the medium and later stages of the game. So go get those slugs. Tip four is that you can control, click and drag to move all items of a type. Tip five is that you can right click a stack to split it in half. And tip six is that you can hold right click to specify how you want a stack to be split. Just double clicking on an item stack will just move all of it into the container you're currently looking at. Tip seven, when you're looking at items in your build menu, if you hold the mouse over the item and push a number, you'll find that item gets bound to that number in your quick bar. Tip eight, you can click the plus icon over an item in the build menu to add it to your quick build list. And you can even do that in the workshop by right clicking on an item and clicking add to list. The list is a really helpful reminder of what you need to build when you plan to put down large chunks of factory all at once. Tip nine, both hub generators need to be connected to a power pole to provide power to the network. Just connecting one of them isn't enough, connect both. Tip 10, you can deconstruct power lines directly using the F key. You don't need to deconstruct the whole of the power pole. Tip 11, when you deconstruct something, you receive a full refund for all of the items that were involved in the construction. Feel free to move chunks of your factory around without worrying about losing resources. Tip 12, you can deconstruct your hub and reconstruct it somewhere else. Any items that were in the storage that you can't carry are left in a box where the hub was deconstructed. The rest of it goes to your inventory. You'll need the modular frame to place your hub down again. And when you do, all of the upgrades that you spent come with it. Tip 13. Exploring is a really, really useful thing to do in Satisfactory. Not only are there hidden caves with power slugs in them, there are other kinds of upgrades and special features to unlock at various crash sites. I'm not gonna spoil all of the things involved with these, but I will say that if you're waiting for stuff to happen in your factory, take some concrete for foundations and go running around finding power slugs and looking for hidden secrets in caves. Be wary of the spiders, however. Tip 14, you can stack storage one on top of another. Very helpful if you plan to do a lot of buffering of goods or resources and a very good way to compactly store a lot of stuff. Tip 15, multiple portable miners can be dropped on a single node. This is very helpful at the start of the game when you don't want to be waiting for lots of resources to be spat out. Tip 16, before you can place an automatic miner, you need to destroy the large rock on top of the mining node. Tip 17, all nodes come in three different purities, impure, normal, and pure. Impure nodes can reliably feed one smelter, normal nodes can feed two, and pure nodes can feed four smelters without much slowdown. If you're aiming for efficiency, remember these values and put down the right amount of smelters and splitters to take maximum advantage of your nodes. Tip 18, if you're in multiplayer and you want to indicate something to your buddies, then Alt with the left mouse button will ping the map where you're looking. Tip 19, if you want to clap or spin your little device at your friends, hold down T and choose one of the emotes. I'm sure they'll be adding more in due course. Tip 20, if you press P, you will go into picture mode. And as you can see, there's quite a few little controls and widgets and whatnots you can do to adjust your screenshot taking capabilities. 
pretty fun for getting up nice close and personal getting all those instagram angles of your buddies and for my final bonus tip how to get yourself a little lizard doggo pet well the thing to know about lizard doggos is that they love pale berries if you come across a lizard doggo in the wild try and walk up to it hopefully it won't run away and it'll sit there watching you pull out a pale berry and drop it on the ground they'll eat the pale berry and with luck they'll stay close by when you walk close again they'll either let you pant them but if they don't look like they're going to do that then you want to throw out another pale berry for them to nibble eventually they'll happily let you pet them and become your friend and follow you around forevermore and what's cool is once they follow you around they'll go with you just about everywhere and occasionally they'll bring you little treats all you have to do is press e when looking at them to see what they've brought you if they get a bit lost following you around just double back to where you last saw them they'll inevitably turn up at your side anyway i've been tiny pirate i hope you've enjoyed these 21 little beginner tips for satisfactory keep an eye out for my next video where i will be sharing more tips for advanced players and keep an eye out for my satisfactory series and videos i'm going to be covering this game a lot because it's fantastic until next time good night